Panida Island, Atu Beach. Lovely. All right, so I'm back here again. If you've been following the videos so far, um, I did a whole section on uh, Diamond Beach, went down there with those whole precarious steps and all the rest of it. Um, done the Thousand Island uh, view point with the cool tree houses and some really awesome drone footage. And now just finishing off the last little section, which is uh, Atu Beach. So let's have a little stroll down and see how it all looks. That is the beach down there. And then just over the other side of the pathway, course I come back down you'll see those islands where I was before the tree houses in the distance and Diamond Beach is kind of in the in the right hand corner cool I tell you what I see all these tourists like hopping between place and place and place and I'm thinking flipping hell well I suppose I'm flapping around with like video gear drone big cameras all the rest of it so it takes me a lot longer um, but still they, they you know certainly get through a lot very quickly that's enough of that Let's uh, find the little trail down. There is a little bit of a staircase here. They're quite steep, uh, but the steps so far are pretty, are pretty wide. Uh, they're good quality. So no issues getting down here. And it looks like the steps are like this all the way down to the bottom. So you can almost not sprint, but you know, kind of go a little bit quicker. Finally made it down to uh, Atu Beach. And I gotta say, I love this kind of mini bay sort of feeling that it's got going on. It's quite uh, secluded compared to some of the other spots like uh, Diamond Beach, for example. There's not really much of a beach. You kind of just go there to do the swing and descend down. It's another spot to see. Um, but over here, despite it being small, it is actually um, a nice little place to kind of chill out. Not sure exactly what it would be like when it's, you know, full and chocker of lots of people, but right now I'm the only person on the beach um, and it's really nice. One of the really cool things about sort of these bay type of things is particularly when you've got the uh, mountain cliff faces kind of surrounding it round, is that the sound of the waves really kind of captures and echoes off the, um, off, off the rocks. And so it really kind of like encompasses and makes like a really, really nice uh, soundscape. So it's a super nice, super nice beach. The sand is uh, nice and soft as well. And it's kind of like a mix of um, the darker volcanic sand and the lighter white sand as well. So it's, it's nice. And it's all lined with kind of little shacks and beach stalls. Who knows, maybe it's a bit of a party beach in, uh, in the main season. For right now, it's just a chill out beach. The other thing that I like is that behind, there's almost like a, a little valley of palm trees and mountains. And although you kind of don't really experience that when you're looking at the beach, it's a nice kind of setting for when you, when you kind of come down. So uh, yeah, it's nice. I like Atu Beach. Let's do some shots. on the other side of the beach. I'll see you soon.